thank you Mr. Marivala for pleasure. speaking to the CSR journal. My pleasure. Yeah. First, at the outside, I'd like to know hmm. what kind of activities is your company involved in in terms of CSR? CSR uh, covers a wide gamut of uh, issues in our um, in our company, but it's centering around our purpose. Okay. Uh, our purpose in the organization is to make a difference to all our stakeholders. So when I'm talking of stakeholders, I'm referring to our consumers, to the society, to our associates whom we are dealing with, uh, to our shareholders. Um, so all of them, we have to make a difference in their lives. So we have selected uh, initiatives which impact in a very positive manner uh, all our stakeholders. And I think that's the key um, factor which looks at all the CSR initiatives. Okay. Could you throw a light on some of the initiatives that you've yes, taken Yes, of up? course. So I can talk on this for half an hour. No, or if you, you could just give me a brief okay. outline. So I think just to give you an idea, uh, as far as our consumer concerned, we have taken two brands where we said that how can we add value to our consumers. One of the brand is Nihar Shanti Amla, which is a brand which is mainly sold in the north and the east and parts of west. And what we are doing in through that brand is to uh, help in the area of education. So we're working with three educational institutions. In addition to that, we also have our mobile part shala, where we educate uh, through the mobile um, some basics in terms of learning of English. Uh, the whole objective is to impact big numbers. So that's one initiative where the Shanti Amla brand uh, reinforces education as its purpose. How uh, important yes. it is for all the stakeholders to come together. You as a corporate are out there doing your yes. activities, yes. but the government is also a stakeholder. Yes. There are individuals yes. who have to take their own social responsibility. Yeah. So how crucial it is for all of them together and where do we stand right now? So I, as I said earlier, this is our purpose hmm. and we look at all stakeholders because they're all interlinked. Correct. If I do something for our customers, they will feel good, they'll buy more products, we will do well. That will motivate, uh, if we do well, more larger opportunities for our, our people working with us, hmm. uh, good returns for shareholders. So it's a cycle where every there is a high degree of interlinkage with all the stakeholders. Okay. So from an organizational point of view, I would say that it's very important to look at all stakeholders and not just one or two stakeholders. And the big mistake many of the companies in the West did was to look at only shareholders okay. as the interested party in, in, in an organization. And I think that's the wrong approach. The right approach is to look at all the stakeholders because they are closely interlinked. And when you try and give something to the stakeholders which they are not expecting, Mm. It comes back. It comes back to you in some return, even including employees. You know, if you create the right culture, or if you go that extra mile in terms of creating the right career options for them, challenge, then they feel far more motivated. And if they are motivated, it again has a better impact on the organizational performance. What kind of help have you received from the government to take your activities forward? Because the government can reach to grassroots levels and far off. Yeah, places. as of today, we have not tapped the government in terms of mm. getting a support, but. You know, I think we are now tying up with the food authorities because okay. uh, food safety is a big issue. So we have been dealing with uh, food authorities which is to do with food and food regulations. If you ask me, has the government supported you financially or through some other initiative as of today, no, but maybe over a period of time uh, they may. Okay. Yeah. At present in the CSR domain, yeah, at least yeah. from last year's uh, figures, we yes. have at least 50,000 crores that's come in the domain okay. that a lot of corporates have put in after the mandate that's come into the picture. Yes. The main question over here is how important do you think is collaboration yeah. and you being a really large company, mm. is there more of a possibility where we choose to do things that are on our own mm. and not collaborate so much? So everyone's doing work in yes. isolation, yes. but for the larger good and to look at the greater picture, we need to collaborate to take it forward. Yes, What's I agree your with thoughts you. I think that? that it's important to collaborate because ultimately you're a part of an ecosystem. So Correct. wherever there are linkages, you need to collaborate and that's what we've been doing. As I mentioned to you earlier, the food authorities. Correct. Um, so it could be, I think collaboration is key to improve interdependency in terms of the effect of CSR. Okay. 
we usually tend to do the csr activities in and around the uh, premises or yes, close yes, by yes, our yes, offices yes, yes. what happens when areas like the northeast get neglected in the same so in our case uh, we have set up a factory in northeast okay <laughs> so we will have a initiative which is in the neighboring communities okay um so i think a lot depends on where is your passion in terms of what you want to do okay now if people have like in our case we have set up a factory then automatically we'll invest some money in the northeast hmm. um but i don't have an answer for the overall csr approach to northeast no but as being a decision maker yes. when you see a lot of corporates putting in yes. what do you suggest i mean do you think there's a possibility of you col- collaborating with another large brand and taking it forward yeah i think uh, a lot um, a lot of organizations are doing things with government uh, government help correct uh, and not necessarily financial help but some other help you know so i think to answer your question collaboration is important wherever there are opportunities for collaborating that should happen uh, i think it has to increase compared to what it is being done okay and uh, the subject of csr what you need to back is dependent again on an organization hmm. not really i mean that each organization should decide what appeals to them we have ngos ha- who are a very important stakeholder mm-hmm. but it is the individuals who actually uh, need to be motivated to come forward mm-hmm. and be a part of it yes uh, is there some way you all directly reach out to them besides you know through your activities business activities yeah. where you all collaborate with the government yeah, yeah. but is there any personal reach with them so i would say that as far as ngos and the social sector is concerned our emphasis is mainly through our innovation foundation okay we have an innovation foundation which was formed in the year 2003 and we have been doing a lot of work in the area of innovation um uh, and one of the initiatives we have undertaken in the last 3 4 years is to help innovative organizations scale up and many of them are ngos because we believe that they are doing something innovative but they are not able to scale up okay they get tied up into their own set of issues so can we as a marico innovation foundation play an important role hmm. in helping them scale up so we actually go through a rigorous selection process in terms of identifying organizations which are doing innovative work and who are willing to listen to us in terms of how to scale up for social incubators yes. where entrepreneurs take initiatives to improve you know the yes. social domain yes. do you think you would put kind of support over there also so as of today we don't have a financial support okay we play a catalytic role in terms of looking at their processes is, is the business model maybe is supply chain issues demand generation uh, sales and distribution issues so depending on the kind of organization which is we try and help them but we as a principle we decide not to support them financially uh, and our whole role is to actually help them in terms of giving advice uh, and helping them scale up how do you think uh these funds that mm. are coming in can mm. be streamlined correctly because uh the swachh bharat corpus is of yes, course dying yes, to quite yes, an extent yes, yeah. but there are funds going the impact is not so much yes. so how can we use these funds to streamline you know, to, to improve the nation at large also so i think again it comes to execution you know mm. just getting funds is one part but Correct. you know how the whole thing is executed is a larger issue you know so a lot of it has to do with executional capabilities which include the quality of talent which is doing this their capability their ability to add value because getting funds is maybe one part as i said but after okay. that execution is far more difficult hmm. and that execution has to be led by a good leader and supported by very good talent and you have to look at it from uh, making a big impact the mandate is only about 3 years old in which one mandate for the, the csr, CSR oh csr mandate okay okay huh, yeah so it's only about 3 years yes, old yes. you've been in the domain for a longer yes, time yes, along with yeah, the innovation yeah. hub yes yes how do you see that transition that has come yeah. about yeah so i think if i look at our own journey you know uh, we started the innovation foundation in 2003 and at that time there was no csr compulsion Correct. in terms of giving something we also had started many of the brands were doing something for the consumers we have been doing a lot of work in the area of uh, farmers and helping them improve their productivity and things like that so when it come to us it came very naturally because okay. of our purpose of making a difference to all the stakeholders but the fact that now there is a mandate that you have to spend 2% of the profits hmm. i think it is forcing organizations to think uh, i think it is raised overall awareness that the organizational responsibility is to give something back 
and to that extent it's a good move mm. um, i think that has led to many organizations now consciously giving something which is good for the society and that cause identification can depend on the organization or the top management what cause they want to bet and sometimes it may if you don't have the capability then you can just give some money to some organization like a prime minister's fund or whatever but i believe in active giving where you know it's just not financial money you're giving but you are actually giving a lot of time energy passion Correct. so that you're making a bigger difference than just funding so could you tell me very briefly what is csr to you what is csr csr to me is uh, making a difference okay to all our stakeholders uh, and through various means you know uh, as i mentioned earlier we are looking at consumers farmers associates neighboring communities and one other big initiative we want to take on is through innovation because we believe that india needs to innovate hmm. not only in the area of business but also in the area of social when you talk about organizations being game changers yes. how much do you see them aligning their core business value along with the activities that they do outside so in case for example if i take a chemical oriented mm-hmm. company there's a lot of waste there's a lot of toxic yes, yes, that is disposed yeah, yeah. in either good or bad ways mm. and then they go out and do some activities say in education or healthcare mm. so how do you really see that core value being aligned for corporates at large i, I mean, think they should be aligned yours. because uh, if you are as you rightly put it in case of say fuel discharges or some effluent issues i think they should ensure that whatever harm they are causing to the environment they they are able to nullify that and mm. i would if i was running a company like that my first initiative would be to correct that okay uh, through it could be csr initiative if i am uh, can i be carbon neutral can i plant more trees if i am not able to treat some other like for example in our case we uh, we buy a lot of plastics luckily in ke- most cases our plastics are reused okay. uh, what we make parachutes so it is reused for either it is melted and reused or it is used reused in the house so there is not much um, uh, discharge which goes into uh, the plastic um, uh, whatever mountains <laughs> which are created but uh, i think the key thing is how can you nullify whatever harm you are causing the environment in trying to rectify it directly or through some other means Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where do you see this domain going in the next 10 years? Do you think the percentage of CSR? the mandate? Yes. Do you think the percentage will increase? I don't think so. They will increase because I think two percent is is good enough. Okay. And uh, how do you I see it growing? I think I would say that uh, the impact of whatever currently it is being spent, the impact will increase because it will be done in a far more effective manner. All right. So I can say that the impact will increase with the same percentage. I don't see the government increasing the. Uh, the percentage because 2 percent i think is is a good mm-hmm. figure and in very few countries uh, you have a mandate like that you know uh, it uh, india is unique to that extent which is mm-hmm. good uh, i think it sensitizes all the corporates to give something back to the society but i think beyond a point then you it will start hurting the organization in terms of profitability and you know some other stakeholder issues so i think uh, to sum up i would say the same money which is currently being spent Uh, would be done in a far more effective manner over a period of time. Okay. It's yeah. been very insightful talking to you. Thank, Thank you so so much for your time. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Okay.